Here it's going now guys, Talk Norris City here, back for another video. I hope you guys are doing fantastically well. We'll start off by saying, shall we, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. I had a really nice one. It was very nice and chilled, got a few nice presents, spent time with family, all of the very stereotypical things that you do at Christmas. Ate too much food, drank too much drink, fell asleep in front of the TV. It was wonderful, it was very nice. I've had a little break from videos, a lot of people have been asking if I went to Reading, is there a match of the experience? No, I didn't go to Reading, no, I'm not going to Brentford. Um, not really because of the recent run of performances, just because I just want to spend time with family. You know, some people uh, are only off at this time of the year. It's just nice not to be going halfway up the country to watch what's a pretty abysmal uh, football team at the moment. Um, so yeah, this tight, I don't know what this video is going to be titled, um, because it feels like I'm just repeating myself at the moment, and that's what's making it very tough for me to make videos, because I don't really know what to say that's different because the two past two months I've had exactly the same thoughts and I've portrayed them thoughts by the medium of YouTube videos and you've watched them. Um, it's, it's woeful what we're watching at the moment. Um, eight defeats in ten games. I'm pretty sure that's the worst run of form I've, I've ever seen for a Norwich City team in my su supporting career. I know it was probably worse in 1969 or whatever, whenever, but in my supporting career this is probably the worst Football, maybe not the worst football, but in terms of underperforming, this is by far, hands down, the worst I've ever seen it. Um, and what started off kind of a 50 50 split of people going, yeah, Alex Neal in, or yeah, Alex Neal out, is now pretty much 100%. There's still a few people who are stuck in blooming la la land uh, and think that Alex Neal might pull through this. He's not going to pull through, you know, just, uh, just pull your head out of the sand, have a look in the mirror. And then you might finally realise that Alex Neal isn't going to get through this and we're not going to be better off by keeping Alex Neal. It's not going to happen. We don't live in some kind of virtual reality world where everything is daisies and grant holds. It's, it's just not happening. Um, but I tweeted out the other day, um, and it, well, it went down well actually. A few people disagreed, and I understand why, because it's on Twitter and it's hard to kind of portray your real, your, your real kind of thoughts and what's the meaning behind it, but I put Norwich City aren't just losing games at the moment, they're losing fans. People feel out of touch with the club. And I 100% stand by that. I don't mean that you, we're suddenly going to go, no, I'm not a Norwich fan anymore, goodbye football, I'm going to su support Ipswich. We're not going to do that. It's obvious we're not going to do that. Norwich is deep in our blood, it's deep in our life. You know, Norwich, supporting a football club is kind of a lifestyle. Um, not a lifestyle, like, you just do it. You, you don't know why you do it, you do it. But I, on Boxing Day, me and Amy, my girlfriend, went down to Yarmouth versus Goulston, um, a, a Boxing Day derby. It was brilliant. I loved it. Um, Yarmouth, my local club, literally a five-minute walk down the road. Goulston, ten minutes down the road. Um, brilliant. But down there, there was tons, I mean tons of Norwich City fans that I normally see at away games. Big Dave was there, Baker was there, Jack Smith was there. Loads of people were there. You know, the, the Yarmouth uh, Canaries were there. The Yarmouth Yellows, whatever they call themselves. There was like older Norwich fans that I always see. Um, younger Norwich fans that I always see at Yarmouth Goulston. And I spoke to a few of them. I was like, not going to Reading today then, guys? They were like, no, I'm not putting myself through that. Not at all. It wasn't because like they've got a deep passion for great Yarmouth town. It's because they just didn't want to watch Norwich. But they still wanted the kind of their football fix. Um, I'm not saying that that Norwich fans are suddenly gonna stop supporting or not take an interest in Norwich, that's not it. But the worse that Norwich perform, and not even the performance levels, the more out of touch you feel with a football club, the lower down your priority list it goes. It might go like family and then friends, blah, blah, blah. If Norwich are doing well and we feel like really connected with the club and like proud to be a Norwich fan, on a Saturday, Norwich is at the top, for most people. The worst we start to do and the more ludicrous decisions that get made and the more out of touch that fans feel and the less communication there is with the club, fans are going to start not caring about it. It's, it's, for supporting a football team is expensive, it's time consuming, it's emotionally consuming um, and that sometimes it's very painful and at the moment Norwich City are in a, a very dangerous position where if they don't start communica communicating, communicating, communicating with fans and seeing what the fans think and stop making themselves seem so up themselves and so, uh, what's the word, arrogant, 
they're going to start losing fans and the attendances are going to drop. It's already obvious that that's happening because when there's been a choice and, you know, people aren't turning up because they've got a season ticket, Southampton in the Cup, hardly any tickets have been sold. Loads of people aren't turning up, not just because of the ticket prices. I'm not sure if I'm going to go. I might go because I want to make a video. I might not. I don't want to go. And it's a shame. In terms of Alex Neal, of course I'm still Alex Neal out. Um, the EDP ran a, a poll the other day. I think it's got over 11,000 votes now. And over 90% of people are Alex Neal out. This is one of the most unanimous splits of of a footballing kind of decision I've ever seen at Norwich City. Even with Chris Hewitt, a lot of people were, yeah, Chris Hewitt in. Neil Adams the same, you know. This is different. Everyone wants Alex Neil out. We, we've, I'm not saying that Alex Neil is a bad manager here. He's not a bad manager. But at the moment, he doesn't know what to do. He's very arrogant. I was cutting some clips up from my Radio Norfolk bulletins this morning. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing in his post-match interviews. Blaming the players. Yeah, of course the players are, have a fault. But if your boss isn't leading you correctly, you're not going to be, you know, playing to your best. And this whole argument about not sacking Alex Neil and people not wanting to get rid of Alex Neil because there's not better out there. That is bollocks. I've had enough of that argument so much. The same with the ownership. Oh, well, look at Coventry. Look at Blackpool. Bollocks. You know, you don't have a bloody broken down car sitting in your driveway because you don't want to renew it because your new one might blow up. If, you, if you're unhappy in your job, you're having a horrible time in your job, you don't quit it because, oh, you could be unemployed. You don't do that. If you need a better situation, you find it and you keep trying until you find that situation. Sticking with Alex Neil here is the one, one of the weirdest, you know, decisions. I was sat around, the, you know, the table and some, uh, some family were saying, and some friends like, like Jack, why is Alex Neil not being sacked? You know, people who, who maybe don't follow Norwich City, but they're kind of interested. Why is Alex Neil not being sacked, Jack? And I was like, I don't know. I literally don't know why he hasn't been sacked. There's no obvious reason where, like, yeah, I can see where you're coming from here. It's just, it's just really weird. Um, we're not going up. We're 12th on the table. Um, we're going to continue to lose games until Alex Neil is gone. Even if Alex Neil wins five out of seven games, fans are still going to want him out. He's lost the players. He's lost the fans. He's lost the media. There's no coming back from this at all. So Norwich City... Or Alex Neal, if you're watching, hi Alex, for the good of your own selves, just go, just go. With the greatest of respect, I do like genuinely appreciate what Alex Neal has done for this football club in terms of that promotion. But let's not forget as well, in 2016, he's got Norwich relegated and now turned this into a mid-table championship side. Stop hanging on to Wembley, stop hanging on to the, to the, to the romantic day that that was and the, the lovely day that we had at Wembley. That was over a year ago now. Get in the real world, people. Alex Neal has lost eight games in ten. We're not going forwards. We're going backwards and at a very quick rate. Delia Smith, Michael Wynne-Jones, Ed Balls, Jez Moxie, wherever you are, do something about this because fans, trust me here, are quickly losing patience with you guys. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Have a good evening and try and forget about the absolute disaster that's happening at Cow Road. Peace out. Once upon a time,